free women's fasting calendar. everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys my favorite peptides that I like to use to help with skin health and all the benefits of slowing down aging of the skin. So if you're interested in wanting to use peptides for the benefits of embracing in your skin and helping with the aging process slow down, or if you're struggling with any kind of skin issues, this is the video for you. So I have a few peptides that I like to use to embrace my skin and help slow down any aging process. And that is going to be the first peptide that I'm going to have and that I like to use is MOTC. And the reason why I like to use MOTC for my skin is because it is all about mitochondria health. And when you have a better mitochondria health going on and you're embracing that, is going to help slow down the aging of the body. Therefore, it's going to help with slowing down the appearance of aging. So who doesn't want to have less wrinkles on their face? I know that I don't want to have any as many wrinkles and I don't want to have to use, um, you know, harsh chemicals and do a lot of harsh injections in my skin um, such as Botox, Dysport, um, MOTC is going to help with that because it's going to help produce with your mitochondria health. Therefore, it's going to slow the aging process down and it's going to then help you look and appear younger because it's going to slow down the wrinkle production. So when I use MOTC, I personally like to use um, about 500 micrograms and I always do like an eight-week rotation of that. Um, I also sometimes will only use that maybe twice a week for four weeks and then give myself a break, but that's just personally what I like to do with, uh, MOTC for the anti-aging purposes of embracing my skin. Um, MOTC also has some other great benefits, um, but I have a whole video on MOTC that you guys can go and watch that. The other peptide that I like to use to help with my skin is... Um, LL37, that is a antifungal peptide. And if you're dealing with any kind of skin issues, such as like rosacea, um, eczema, hives, um, acne, this is going to be the peptide for you. Um, I sometimes still struggle a little bit with acne. Um, unfortunately, it for me, it's one of the negative side effects that I have with taking progesterone, but I rather keep taking my progesterone and be feeling great and being hormonally um, balanced. So therefore, sometimes I do struggle with um, dealing with acne. And that is something that I've seen um, LL37 like help so much is clearing out acne, um, you know, especially like if you're like me, you're lifting, you're exercising a lot. Like I like to wear a lot of layers when I'm in the sauna, when I'm doing my cardio. So, you know, I get sweaty. Sometimes guys, like I have to go to the gym with a full fake of, face of makeup on like I have today. Um, so, you know, acne can happen. Hormones can play a big role in that. But um, LL37 is definitely going to be the peptide to put in there if you are struggling with acne, but also if you're dealing with eczema and hives that have a lot of women that suffer from hives and they'll actually get hives like spread just not even just like all over the body. They'll get it on their face. Um, I know one of my girlfriends, she gets really bad hives like along her, her neck and her jawline. Um, so LL37 will definitely help with that. But main beauty hack and benefit of it, it helps with your acne. Um, so I definitely suggest doing that. And when I personally take LL37, I'm taking about 125 um, micrograms. So that way you know what dosing I'm doing. Um, so the next peptide that um, I'm going to be using to help with my skin is going to be melanotan 1. Melanotan 1 is... Probably my favorite peptide. Um, I think I said that about MOTC a lot too, but melanotan 1 is definitely um, one of my favorite peptides for um, many other reasons for the cognitive health, and it helped me so much 
when I was going through um, anxiety and coming off birth control and dealing with a lot of hormonal changes. Melanotan 1 helped me so much with that. But Melanotan 1 for your skin has some great benefits because it is going to help darken your skin. It's the tanning peptide. Now, Melanotan 1 is different from Melanotan 2. Melanotan 2 has some really awful negative side effects of people feeling nauseous, sick. Um, some men get some erectile issues with it. Um, and Melanotan 2 will also make people orange. Um, so yeah, I don't want to look orange. Um, so Melanotan 1 is going to be the better peptide to use because that is going to help with just like your brain function and cognition and everything, but it's going to help darken your skin. So it's going to help embrace deeper, darker, golden skin tones. Um, growing up, um, you know, I'm very fair complected, especially compared to, um, to my sisters. I got my dad's Irish genes and I am definitely a lot more fair. My sisters have more of the, Bulgarian and Albanian, like gorgeous. They get really beautiful, dark, golden, bronzy tan. Um, I personally struggle with that, but guys, um, I don't have any self tanner on right now. Like this is all like my natural tan from being outside and using Melana tan one. So, I mean, that's a big, that's a big color difference for me. Um, just because, Again, I'm usually pretty fair, and obviously you guys can see I have a whole sleeve of tattoos, and Linitan 1 has not affected my tattoos in any way. Um, I get asked that a lot, will Melanotan 1 like shift or change any tattoos? Um, I personally have not noticed any difference in my tattoos shifting or fading or darkening or changing at all. So, um, that's just been my experience with it. Um, but you know, as you guys can see, like I do have, I mean, this is a really nice tan. This is, I have no fake tan on right now. And I usually do always have some type of fake tan going on, but, um, this is not so, so I'm only team one is going to be there because it's going to help tan and darken your skin. But what's also great about Melanotan one is also going to give your skin UVA protection. So this is going to help your skin and protect your skin from burning. And that is where like, you know, when you overexpose and over get, uh, you know, sunburn overexposure, that is what's going to end up causing, you know, the C word to happen. But I can't say because AI will somehow probably delete my channel because that's what I've learned that you can't say the C word on YouTube. Um, so that's going to help prevent from that happening. And um, because it has a UVA protection there, like you can technically not have to worry about putting the sunscreen on. Um, for instance, you know, this is pretty dark right now. Um, I actually did take Melanotan 1 um, last weekend and laid out in just like some body oil. Um, I didn't put any UVA, like any sunscreen on because I had the UVA protection from the Melanotan one and it guys, I mean, it really does help deepen and darken your skin tone. And, um, even like if you're not going outside and sitting in the sun, it's going to help do that very, it's a very slow progression. I get asked a lot, like, how long does it take for the tan to come in? How long does the tan last? And it's very different from getting a spray tan done. Um, you know, I wish it was something that was, I, I mean, it would be great if it would give you the same effect as like getting a spray tan and it like worked immediately like that. It was even and perfect. Um, man, that'd be great, but it doesn't work that way, guys. Um, it just naturally will just slowly darken and enhance and darken your skin over time. Um, so that is why Melina Tan 1 is a great peptide to use to embrace, um, and help with, you know, just overall better skin and whatnot and help embrace and give you a great, you know, appearance of just softer, softer skin tone. Um, and the dosing that I do when I take Melanotan one is that I usually do 250 micrograms and I 
typically only take that um, no more than like two, maybe three times a week if I'm using it more so for like a skin embracing and tanning purposes. And I'm just like, you know, I'm here locally, like I'm not on vacation. I'm not somewhere tropical, like laying on a beach. I'm only going to take it like twice a week. Um, I will take it more than like twice a week, do it like every three days if I'm using it more so for like, um, for any of like my mental health benefits, but for just like beauty enhancing and tanning purposes once, you know, to no more than twice a week is what I'm going to do. Um, and the last peptide that I'm going to use to help, um, with enhancing skin beauty and helping with my skin is going to be epimorelin. Um, epimorelin is a great peptide for many reasons, but mainly because epimorelin is a, going to help you produce more of your body's natural growth hormone. Again, this is different from taking actual growth hormone. I feel like I have to disclaim that in every video that I talk about um, epimorelin in, but it is going to help your body and your pituitary you're going to produce more of its own natural growth hormone. And that is going to play a big role in your skin because it's going to help with your collagen production. And the more collagen production you have going on, the less amount of wrinkles you're going to have. Um, Epimorelin is also going to, you know, help with, you know, leaning out muscle. But, um, you know, one of the biggest things that I noticed with Epimorelin is that I actually feel like it helps my skin stay hydrated. Um, I feel like when I'm cycling off and I'm not taking Epimorelin um, or Tessamorelin, because those are my two growth hormone producing peptides that I like to take, when I'm not taking either of those, like I do feel like my skin isn't quite as like hydrated. I do feel like it's drier. Um, so that is one of the things why I like to have Epimorelin in my skin stack because it does help. I feel like also just help, it helps with moisture, but it's because it's producing more collagen in my body. So I know that's making a big difference. Um, so the more collagen you have, the less amount of wrinkles you're going to have. And it has really helped tremendously a lot with um, reducing the wrinkles and to the point like where I don't feel like I need to get, you know, Botox and fillers done anymore. So that has been a really great benefit of having that. Um, and they're just for like a beauty and skin enhancing purpose. And then um, I like to take 300 micrograms of that. Um, I take that. I personally like to take epimorelin you know, in the evening before bed, I know some people like to take it in the morning because it, they feel like it like gives them energy and then, you know, amplifies them. So they like to take it in the morning because they get more energy. Personally with me, it helps calm me down and it helps me get a deeper sleep because it's producing more of my natural growth hormone. So therefore I'm going to sleep and get some better deeper sleep. So I like to take that at night, but you have to do what works for your body. I you know, I hear many different stories. So some people like it at night, some people like it in the morning, that's going to be up to you when you want to take it. But, um, I like to take, um, 300 micrograms of that. So with that being said, I don't think I mentioned when I also take the other peptides, typically all the other ones I talked about, um, I'm going to take those all in the eve in the morning. The only one I'm really taking in the evening is epimorelin, but you know, you guys have to play with it and figure out what works best for you and what works best for your body. And um, if you are going to use a melanotan one for tanning purposes, I do suggest taking that, um, you know, maybe like 30 minutes before you're going to go outside into the sun before you have sun exposure. Um, if you take it while you're, you know, while you're outside and you forget to take it and you want to take it while you're already out there, like that's totally fine too. But I always just say like, you know, Take it before you go outside, um, 30 minutes before. So there you have it, guys. Um, that is what I like to use to embrace my skin. Those are my skin peptides. So MOTC, LL37, GHK, Melanotan 1, and Epimorelin. Those are going to be my skin and um, my skin boosting peptides. Um, another thing that I like to add in there as well. Um, is going to be Amino Asylums Hair, Nail, and Skin. Um, that is a injectable um, vitamin blend that you can get 
And um, that is going to help also too. And when I take Aminocylum hair, nail, and skin, um, I like to take 25 units of that. And then I will do that for a few weeks and then I will bump myself up to 50 units. But I like to take that in the morning. You do not want to take that in the evening because it will um, give you a little bit of an energy boost because of the B vitamins in it. So yeah, that is also another great little extra, um, blend that I like to put in there for my, um, skin enhancement. So, um, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about peptides, um, use the link in tree. It's in the description below where you guys can download the women's peptide cheat sheet. I have a women's peptide course that I did with Jay Campbell's wife, Monica Campbell, and that is a self-paced, um, all video-based um, peptide course that's designed for women. So if you are interested and want to know more about peptides, definitely go and check out that course. If you guys have questions about peptides, um, you know, you can always, I have in that link entry, there is a place where you can schedule and you can book a consultation call with me. That way you have any questions about peptides, about hormones, about fat loss, muscle building, nutrition, you guys can book a call with me and you can ask me all the questions that you want. And that is, um, in the link in tree below. Um, along with that, you know, I do peptide plans for people, consultation calls, the, um, personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching. All those details are in the link in tree description below. So please go in um, check out that. Download your peptide cheat sheet so you guys have that on hand so you know how to reconstitute your peptides. And also on that link is where um, I have my sites on where you can get um, all these peptides that I talk about and all the discount codes um, where I personally order my peptides and where my clients get their peptides from. So go check out that link. And yeah, if you guys like this video, um, please give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe, comment, do all the wonderful YouTube things and just keep sharing love. And if you use these peptides and you liked them and you want to share your experience and all your love and positive experience with them, um, please do so in the comments. But until next time, guys, I hope you're doing amazing and I will chat with you guys soon.